Palakkad, Kerala. I did B.Tech Agriculture Engineering from Kerala Agriculture University. So talking about my interview experience, it was almost 15 to 18 minutes. Uh, so it started with introduction, then hobbies, my family background, favorite UG subject. Uh, so you should prepare for with an interview which can impress the interview panel and also you should be uh, prepared with an with one or two UG subject uh, so that you can answer confidently uh, then as uh, they also asked me some questions about the state from which I am coming Kerala uh, then uh, you should know about your hobbies because it is the one that you love the most as I am an uh, agri engineer they asked me about some technical questions regarding drones and micro irrigation so the most important thing is that you should be confident uh, you wear a smile on your face, uh, take care of your body language, gestures, facial expressions, etc. And uh, all the best to all experience. So, hello everyone, I am Dr. Sachin Sharma. I am from Palampuri, Machal Pradesh. I have completed my bachelor's in veterinary science in animal husbandry and master's in veterinary science in animal nutrition from Chaudhary Sarvan Kumar, Himachal Pradesh Krishi Vishya Vidyalaya, Palampur. Coming to my interview experience, uh, first of all, there will be three panelists. So they they asked me to introduce myself in 60 seconds, mentioning about my family background, and uh, after that they asked me to mention about my strengths and weaknesses. So if you are well versed with that, then that will be helpful for you. And uh, you should be you should prepare yourself with a favorite two UG subjects so that they can ask some questions regarding that. So. Uh, they asked me about my favorite subject. I mentioned about animal nutrition, livestock products, technology, livestock production and management from which they asked me several technical questions. And uh, they also asked me about my achievements, about my internship experience and what I did my, in my internship. And uh, after that, they asked me about major players in animal husbandry industry for, uh, about which uh, if you are able to know then that will be helpful. And uh, one advice which I would like to give is be confident, keep a smile on your face and all the best. Hi everyone, my name is Rinsit Keshing. I'm from Ukrul district, Manipur. Uh, I have completed BSc Honours Agriculture from Agriculture College, Papatla under Ajaya N.G. Ranga Agriculture University, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so coming to my interview e experience in Manage, uh, I have uh, I have been asked firstly about my introduction, like the basic questions, like uh, what is your name, your where are you from, and uh, like about my strength and weakness, my hobbies, etc. So uh, after that, they asked me about my state, like what is a specialty, and they asked me about uh, how is chum cultivation, also known as slash and burn cultivation. Uh, which is the most prevalent in Manipur. So they asked me how, what the process are. And uh, they also asked me what my five-year plan was. And uh, they also asked me, like, uh, how many languages I know. Like, am I fluent with Telugu? Am I fluent with Hindi? And they, finally, they asked me, like, what are the, uh, like, in two years of this manage, will you be able to fluently uh, speak Hindi? Like, they, they asked me. They also asked me, like, uh, how was your UG college? Like, what are the things you like in Andhra Pradesh? What are the things you don't like? Hi, I'm Sakshi Sayavi from Mumbai. I have completed BSc Honours Agriculture from Dr. Bahasab Savant Kokan Krishi Vidyapit Dapoli, Maharashtra. Uh, so about my interview experience, uh, it lasted for about 20 minutes. In the beginning, they asked me some common HR questions like, introduce yourself, tell us something about your family, about my grades in school and undergraduation, why I selected agribusiness management as my career, etc. So you should be prepared with this kind of questions. Uh, then they asked me some general questions about current affairs, about multinational companies and the headquarters. Uh, also, uh, the problems faced by Indian farmers, uh, the problems in Indian agriculture and the probable solutions for these problems. So you should be thorough with the current affairs you should be you should be updated with the current happenings uh, read some general knowledge general facts uh, you should expect questions from these topics also they asked me my two favorite subjects from undergraduation and the questions related to that uh, you should prepare for two uh, subjects in your undergraduation 
since i had calls from other institutes which offer agri business management such as i am amdabad i am lucknow they asked me what would be my preference uh, if i converted all the colleges uh, so you should prepare answer for that also all your answers should be genuine and convincing as well uh, that's all all the best for all the candidates hello everyone i am anirudh singh bhati i am from chittorgarh rajasthan i have completed bsc in agriculture and food business from mit university noida also i have worked for 28 months working with coromandel international limited and upl limited as a dietary sales manager talking about my interview experience here in manage the first question that was asked is was about my introduction uh, like what's your name and uh, where are you from and these simple questions you have to give your introduction in 90 to 120 seconds then the second question asked to me was about my work ex my roles in my company uh, what work i used to do what and uh, what's the difference between both the companies coromandel and upl also a question that was asked to me was about the crops which are grown uh, in my state particularly in my state in my area what are the major pests what are the major diseases that uh, that are uh, there in my state then one more question was asked uh, that was about the uh, current affairs that uh, rates that are decided by rbi repo rates reverse repo rates bank rates that you uh, you all have to be thorough with the current affairs what's going uh, on uh, in currently in market you have to be thorough with the recent happenings that's happening around the world and you all have to be uh, thorough with all these and uh, have a, uh, you'll have a good experience in here in manage good luck Thank you.